You know, sometimes people don't do what they say they're going to do. They don't. And sometimes they do that because they're lazy or they don't know what they're doing or because they forget. Or sometimes they don't do what they're supposed to do because something else went funky that they were expecting people to do stuff and it didn't happen. So they messed it up. Such is the case with the server hosting company that has been running Granny Gamer 1. Part of what's happened has to do with the server hosting company, but most of it has to do with the fact that Mojang lost its mind the other day and Spigot servers, and mine has been a Spigot server, it's a version of Bucket, didn't function properly and there was no notification or any way to know what the source of the problem was. Anyway, the bottom line of all this is that the world that Granny Gamers was playing on, that you Granny's Grinders were playing on, got messed up. Some of the chunks got corrupted, including the one at spawn. So that beautiful spawn pyramid with all the cake is gone. And we could not play the server. Uh, we tried setting up a second world and that world didn't function with more than one person on it. It was very, very laggy. In fact, I had a guy look at it and he said, I don't know how anybody's managing to stay on the server. I'd get on and I'd go from five bars to one bar in like hardly any time at all. And if somebody else logged in, the server would crash. Well, we've been doing a lot of investigating and we set up this second world on another server hosting company. And my friend George and I were playing it yesterday, Philosophunculist, and I were playing it yesterday to test it. And it looks okay. That's the road that leads up to spawn where I'll put all the cocoa beans. I also lined the path with flowers and stuff so people don't have any excuse not to find the base. So George and I got this much done yesterday, which is a fair amount. We're on, well on our way to having bookshelves. And you see, we've already got an enchanting table and several anvils, and we're doing okay for one day. I've got eight diamonds in the chest, and George, I think, I don't remember how many he found, but it was enough to make, a, I think, a couple of picks and an enchanting table. So we've been doing okay, in spite of the fact that it's Cootie Central out here. I don't, it's all right. I'm over Cooties. I'm over Cooties. I have learned, however, that I'm saving gold and making golden apples. I have four in my inventory at present after one day of gameplay. Uh, I seldom get to use them though. I, usually by the time I'm getting killed, I'm getting killed. Be handy for falling in lava and jumping out though. I've also learned that when I'm playing in lava, I keep a water bucket poured in a hole so I can jump in it. I did make one mistake though. I put a sapling right there and it sprouted. Right there is spawn. So when you uh, spawn now, you spawn on top of that tree. So I have to cut that tree down. Anyway, so we've got this one for a month. And Cohen, the guy who got me my servers and who has been pretty much operating them with now with Bixie, has said that he can save this world so we can actually play this world. We still have the old world, but like I said, there's corrupted chunks and stuff. Bixie has volunteered to make schematics of people's builds and put them in whatever world we want. We can play the old world. We can play this one. There's some real benefits to this one. There's extreme hills down there by where the sun is. I don't know what's behind the jungle. Got a nice ocean. This swamp is gorgeous. It's just great. It's full of all kinds of resources, including slimes everywhere. There are slimes in the jungle and in the swamp both. I think we are sitting on a slime chunk because look at this. I glassed over the ravine so things would stop falling in. But I can make really easily a slime murdering facility. Or at least injure them and then one could kill them. Uh, so I've been up here sometimes or looked up from down below and seen like 10 slimes on my roof. I'm not lying. So it's easy XP and you redstoners would have no problem. And this is, looks like XP. Some of it's left over from the night before, not from those zombies I just killed. So we have two worlds available right now. We actually have another one with sheep and spiders. And I've, I went in creative mode and flew in two of four directions from spawn 
found villagers villages in both directions uh really good diversity of biomes we haven't explored this much because we're playing in survival so i'm not flying around here i don't know what's all available i haven't gone too very far so i'm asking you guys what you want to do do you want to play this new world with schematics pasted in of your builds do you want to play the old world that got corrupted chunks and we don't know how many chunks are corrupted or where it's where we were playing nothing we haven't played got corrupted because it was never loaded it's up to you what you want to do um, I'm very happy here and Cohen can save this world I don't know how we'd play it but let me know what you want I'm really sorry the server's been offline we're getting it together as quick as we can everybody's been working on it even people who don't play the server or even know me have been working on this so we're working as hard as we can. Obviously, I found pumpkins. I found 17 wild pumpkins. Yay. So I'm in business. Let me know what you want to do. Give me a holler if you want to play. See ya. Bye.